Hi, my name's Emily. I'm the owner of Lily Long Nose Sewing Patterns. And today I'm gonna to do a sewing tutorial for a Velcro coat. I've got two examples here to show you. Um, what I love about this pattern is that it Velcros on at the front. Um, so for dogs who are not sure about having things go over their head, you've got this Velcro strap at the front that just makes it really easy to get it on and off. Uh, it's got a little collar piece. Uh, it's got a dart across the top here a dart um, across the back, starting around here, uh, and then a belly strap as well, as you can see. So this example here is the single layer raincoat. Uh, it uses a soft shell fleece. Um, so it's got a fleecy inside and a water resistant outside. Um, that's one way that you can make the coat. The other one is um, a double layer coat. So this one here is fleece, and it's very similar to the one that we're gonna do today. Um, it's got like a cotton jersey inside and then a fleece outside. So this is a double layer coat. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to do it in this nice little check fabric. Um, so I've got this check fabric will be the outside of my coat and I've just got a really um, simple flannelette for the inside. I've already cut out and prepared my pattern. So um, for this one, I'm gonna make a medium for Lily just um, so it's a little bit more roomy. Um, as you can see, I've already printed it out, cut it out, and lined up all of my dots so that it's perfect. You've also got the strap piece and the little collar piece as well. All right, so now you've cut out all your pieces. So you should have two body pieces. So one will be the outside of your fabric and one will be your lining piece. Um, you've cut darts um, in both of them as demonstrated on the pattern. Then you should have two collar pieces, one being your outside fabric, one being your lining, and then the same for the straps and outside and Alright, so first we're going to sew the dart across the top towards the dog's neck, the dart at the end towards the dog's bum, and the two darts at the hip. And we're going to do that for both the outside fabric and for the lining. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we are going to put our two body pieces together. So I like to start with the top. These two square pieces are just really, really easy to line up some key points with the corners. Um, main thing to look out for is just to make sure that your darts are gonna line up and sit nicely. Um, so I would always pin that first, um, just to make sure that that's gonna hold and will sit really nicely when it's finished. I would do the same thing down at the bottom. So just line up your darts, pin that in place. And the same with the sides. All right, so I've pinned the two body pieces all the way around. Um, but what we do need to make sure is that we leave an opening around the neck because um, that's how we're going to turn it the right side out and that's also where we're going to attach the collar. Um, so what I usually do is I just grab the collar piece and just roughly measure out um, where the collar is going to go in or out and then I just leave a little bit of extra space. And so these pins that are just going um, horizontal are to mark where I'm going to start and stop sewing. Um, so I'm going to go around, sew the edges and then I'm going to overlock it and then I will turn it right side out. All right, so we've got our collar piece here. Um, this part here where it dips in is the part that's gonna to attach to the body piece. And this is the part that's gonna be uh, flapping around behind the dog's neck. 
These are the side pieces. We're just going to sew up this side, across the top here, and down back to the bottom. Then we're going to turn it inside out and fit it to the coat. And this is our strap piece. Um, we're going to sew across two, one, two, three edges and leave one open. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll attach that to the coat as well. Uh, we're going to attach our collar piece. So first of all, we're going to turn that one right side out as well. That one's a bit quicker and easier. Bring that fluff. All right. Now, some people would probably iron this collar piece so all the seams sit out nicely. I hate ironing and I'm very lazy. Um, all right. So this is this is how the collar is going to sit when it's finished. All right, so I've just pinned my collar piece uh, onto the inside of the coat. So this white is, is the lining, and I want this side showing on the collar. So what I've done is I've pinned those two sides together all the way around, and how it's going to look when it's finished is it's going to fold back up and sit like this on the outside of the coat. So that's what I want it to look like when it's finished. Some people might want their lining to be showing here and the inside fabric here. Um, that's up to you. All right, so now that I've got my collar piece on nicely, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go all the way around the edges of the body and just top stitch um, the seams in place. It's just going to give it like a bit of a neater, more professional looking finish. Um, and then I'm going to do the straps. Um, so I'll just top stitch this and then I'll show you the next steps. Okay, so a couple of steps ago, I did the three seams around the edge of the strap. So now I'm just going to turn it right side out. Um, and then just so it matches with the rest of the coat, I'm going to top stitch around the edges. Make sure that before you start any top stitching, you just pop, push the seams all the way into the corners. All right, so I'm going to top stitch all the way around the three edges. And I'm just still going to leave this um, open one, open end raw. All right, so now you're actually going to get your pattern piece back out um, because you want to just check where it says to place the Velcro strap. Um, now, obviously, you can put it wherever you like, really, um, but the best placement is just under the dog's um, belly or under their chest. Um, if it's a boy dog, you'll definitely want it in this position. If it's a girl dog, you might want to move it a little bit further down. Um, it's up to you, but just if it is a boy dog and it's further down, they'll wee on it. Um, so just be considerate of that. Um, so I'm going to place mine here. Actually, I might just pull it a little bit further back. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice if it matched there? Let's actually match it up with those stripes. That's going to bring me a lot of joy. Um, so what I'm actually going to do first, because I want this side showing, um, I'm just going to put right sides together, so just like that. And I'm going to pin this in place. All right, and then I'm just going to sew across this bottom line um, to fit that strap into place. All right, so now it's time to do your Velcro straps. Um, now, obviously, you can do whatever kind of fixtures that you want. You could even try hardware or you could do buttons. It really doesn't matter. Um, I like Velcro because it's quick and easy and it's really cheap. <laughs> um, I'm just using the Velcro that I've got at home. I haven't really got the perfect width, but I'm just working with what I've got. Um, so I'm actually going to do two strips here um, of the Velcro. Um, now, when you're using Velcro for dog's clothes, you've really got to make sure. So the Velcro's got two, um, two sides to it. So one of it is like a scratchy um, kind of catchy side and the other is like a soft side. You always want to make sure that this soft side is on the strap um, because that's what comes under the dog's belly. And if you um, 
if you only attach, for example, on the other side, like this much, so let's pretend that's attached to your coat, there's only this much, this is what will touch your dog's skin. Whereas if it's the other way around, you don't want that scratching against your dog's skin under their belly. Um, so just be really conscious when you are attaching your straps, which way you're putting them. Um, and I would just always, if you're not sure, because it can be a bit confusing, just um, pin them in place or hold them in place, try it on the dog and make sure um, that you've got them the right way around. Um, so I've just cut, so what I've done is I, tr I tried it on Lily and I've just figured out how much um, length of Velcro I need for it to sit nicely. So I've cut these two pieces. I'm going to pop that there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the coat around and I'm going to make sure that it's sitting perfectly straight. Line up the darts, line up all of the beautiful edges there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that the straps are going to be in the right place uh, because you wouldn't want it out of line. All right, so my Velcro straps are going to go here and here. And it will strap on just like that. Uh, now this is a sticky kind of Velcro, but it does need um, sewing reinforcement. So don't worry, I will be sewing them on as well. So I'm just going to stick that one there and stick this one right next to it. Beautiful. These ones will get sewn on as well and it will end up finishing just like that. Um, so we'll do that in a second. Um, but what we will do first is just organize the Velcro strap for the front as well. Now, again, you might want to do buttons. You might want to do, I don't know, anything you like. Um, I just find Velcro really, really easy. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. So Perfect. All right. Now, again, if I use my brain and think about it, catchy side can be on the outside because then if this comes loose, it's the soft part that's going to be on her skin. All right. So the catchy part's going to be on the outside. Right here. So just make sure before you do sew your Velcro on that you just double check because if you're anything like me, when you go to sew your Velcro on, you're really re reinforcing it with a lot of stitching and it can be a pain in the ass to unpick if you've done it the wrong way. All right, so that like that. And then that means that the Velcro will actually be hidden so you won't really see it. You shouldn't see it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sew that on and then we'll try it on Lily. Yeah. 